Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and today's video is about my process designing, building, and testing some custom gearboxes to convert Division over to brushless drive. I had been using brushed Servo City Econ gear motors since version 1 of Division, and the motors themselves aren't really a problem. Division isn't a control bot, but it is reasonably speedy and has decent pushing power. However, at Norwalk back in January, I lost drive in several fights. Turns out that fighting against other spinners with exposed wheels can end badly, who knew? The wheels themselves were generally totally fine in fact, but there were two major issues I had. One was crappy snap ring retention system on the Fingertech snap wheels. This was fixed by Fingertech with their new twist hubs, but since those were out of stock at the time I designed and fabricated my own Just Cuz hubs. I never lost another wheel at Motorama, the next competition where Division fought, but I also knew I hadn't addressed the second biggest problem, the gearboxes. Servo City's Econ motors are fine, but the gearboxes are total crap. If you do a 1 minute search on AliExpress or Alibaba, you will find many similar ones exist that cost next to nothing, meaning they're extremely cheaply made. I want something with substantial output shafts, better than the cheap soft 4mm steel ones that are on those boxes. A while back on Facebook, I saw that Cosmin of Bugglebot's Daedalus fame was planning to sell gearboxes of his own making, and those have a 6mm output shaft. He's using an off-the-shelf gear set, the Pluto Gears from Wranglebox, and simply sourcing aluminum billet CNC machined housings. He is now selling these on his web store for Bad Timing Robotics, with 1806 brushless motors and 20 amp ESCs as a set for just over 85 US dollars each. There are however three problems with these, for my purposes anyway. 1. The motors offset from the output shaft, making them harder for me to fit into division. 2. That massive aluminum housing takes up a lot of space and weight which I would hope to save by using a brushless motor in the first place. 3. I have no way to even mount them in Division as is. Division's Econ gear motors are doubly supported by a 3D printed slip fit tube mount which is mostly shock absorbing and screwed into the base plate and then face mounted to the titanium side panel with two M3 screws. I knew I could design a housing that utilized at least one of these features and it would be much lighter if it were 3D printed but should still give me all of the benefits of the lighter weight, greater speed, and power from brushless motors, and a much beefier 6mm output shaft. So I got to work designing. The trickiest part about this was the tiny clearances and incredibly tight tolerances. FDM 3D printers are only so accurate, and asking for precision within 0.2mm is a real stretch. There were so many areas where ideally plastic would be thinner than the nozzle diameter of 0.4mm, so I needed to cut away material. I also had to contend with making secure press fits for the dowel pins and leave room for any slight inaccuracy or flex. In the end, I made several prototypes with slight changes each time, and I found I was limited even more than I originally thought. The very materials I can print were becoming a liability. I tried PLA, nylon, even polycarbonate filaments, but they all have their trade-offs. I need a filament that has a little bit of flex for it to press fit, but it also needs to withstand high temperatures, be rigid, and printable. I thought polycarbonate would work, but the Polylite PC proved too brittle. Alloy 910 nylon is durable and won't crack, but it's not quite rigid enough. I think the answer might lie with a carbon fiber filled nylon, which is stiffer and more temperature resistant than Alloy 910. But I'll just have to try that to find out. Still, I had yet another challenge. Wheel hubs. With 6mm shafts, simply drilling out my existing hubs didn't seem like a great option. The one downside to my current Just Cause hubs is the shaft cannot pass through them, and it can only go part way in because of the screw on the end. I decided to try and design a 3D printed wheel hub to suit these shafts, which would ideally just press on and not even require set screws. I ended up trying to make my own version of a twist hub, but with the teeth engaging within the diameter of the hub instead of flanges that stick out, since I thought that made them harder to put on. I may yet need to add some retention system to keep them on the shafts, but torque transfer from the D-shaft is plenty. Results Currently, this is still a bit of a work in progress. I want this new drive system to be superior in every way to the old brushed motors, and to be able to use this on all of my future Beetleweight bots. Admittedly, it's very fast for the 2-inch wheels I'm using, but it has plenty of torque to spare, and having an indirect belt drive system in a different bot would be easy with this setup due to the long shaft. I haven't been able to test these for very long because the gears eventually lock up after a minute or two of use, but I was able to drive Division around with them for a little bit and they were super speedy. The no load speed is about 1800 RPM after gearing, with the motors running on 12.3 volts. However, there are a bunch of issues I've run into by using the 3D printed housing. Still, if this succeeds, 
I will essentially have my own gearbox, motor, and ESC combo, all for around $40 each, including the cost of filament, screws, grease, etc. amortized, compared to the over $85 each that Cosman charges. And keep in mind that I've already bought parts for three of these, and buying three of his would have been over $250 before shipping. Once I get a successfully working version of these made, I'll release the design and CAD for free on my web store. I know I've historically charged money for CAD models, but given the difficulty involved in getting these to work and the fact they need tweaks to work with the tolerance of each person's specific printer, it seems like much less of a finished product and thus I'd feel more comfortable just giving the design away as a service to the bot building community. Thanks for watching! Remember to hit the like button if you liked this video, if you want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And if you really want to support this channel and the videos that I've been making, check out the Just Cause store where you can get copies of the CAD design for Division version 2.7 as well as a couple of the Antweight weapons I've designed.